So the focus area of the group I lead here at the Engineer Research and Development Center is focused on advanced manufacturing techniques or additive manufacturing techniques and leveraging those techniques for the development of new material systems. So most um, people that work in additive manufacturing focus mostly on like either complex geometry systems or things that you can't make through traditional manufacturing. A lot of what we do here internally at Erdek is development of new material systems. So creating things through additive that you couldn't create otherwise that have interesting material properties. So things like extremely high hardnesses or things that may be functionally graded and uh, deform in particular design manners. So a lot of material by design type work. Some of the specific projects I'm working on here at Erdek uh, deal with leveraging advanced manufacturing techniques to either develop these new material systems or scale them up into large focus areas. So one of the cool things about Erdek is uh, we don't a lot of times deal with little small things. Our, our mission hats are either civil works infrastructure, which is very large components, or even on the military engineering side, a lot of those applications are very large in nature. So whether it's infrastructure or moving troops from one place to the other, it's all about big, large things. So instead of a lot of the small, tiny trinkets that you deal with traditionally through additive, we're developing a lot of really large things. So pushing the envelope of what can be done with large scale additives. So on the metal side, that may be going through and looking at either bridge or railway steel repair using additive manufacturing techniques, or going through and developing um, new large scale polymer components that have strength values close to those of like aluminum alloys and things of that nature. Um, so really trying to push the envelope and, and what those large scale things can be using additive technologies. So some of the applications we work on here at Erdek are mainly twofold. So on the military engineering side, we have a lot of work that focuses on, um, say, impact kinetics. So things, uh, ballistics, or maybe we need high strength material systems or something of that nature. So a lot of times we're focused on developing new material systems specific to like high hardness and things of that nature. The beauty of that though, is that a lot of those same material systems that we develop on the high hardness side for military engineering are also great uh, in the wear performance standpoint. So they can also be leveraged on the civil works infrastructure side for uh, high wear, fatigue, or, or um, surfaces and things like that. The drivers for making this research important can be twofold depending on the, the mission space that you're looking at. So on the military engineering side, it's all about increasing your, your protection factor. So if we can take material systems and increase their hardness or their, their overall strength of that particular material system, maybe we can use less of it. So maybe we can decrease the weight by still holding true to the same uh, performance factor. On the civil works infrastructure side, a lot of that has to do with lead time. So when you talk about the same component being made um, from a cast part, 18 to 72 months, that's a non-start. So you, you can't have a waterways navigation structure down for 18 to 72 months because you, you have a critical component that can't be fabricated. So when you change and you can now fabricate those on demand in a couple of weeks, as opposed to months or years, it really changes the uh, paradigm of, of what can be done.